Six feet solving ratio problems. Okay, to solve a problem where one part of ratio is a known value, we gotta find equivalent ratios. For example, if we know that our ratio is two to three, and the first person gets 40 smackaroos, then we multiply both numbers by 20, because two times 20 is 40, three times 20 is 60, so the second person gets 60. So we can use that information to find, if we have a little bit more information, to find the other, other part of it. Ratio, we want to use the word parts. You've got two parts to three parts. So for every two parts, you'll have three other parts. How many total parts do you have is when you add them together. This is where ratios are different to fractions. You have two to three, unless the ratio is parts to the whole, which they would tell you. We did one that has to do how many days absent to the days total absent. Often it is you would have like the days absent to the days present, and you add them together to get your total. So the unitary method is always a great one for finding um, a given ratio. That means unit meaning one. So find the total number of parts. In this one, there were five parts. Then we find the value of one part. So if we know what one part is, up here we found that one part in the ratio of two to three was 20. So if we had two parts, go away, that's how we got 40, because one part was 20. In a ratio of two to three, two of those was 40, three of those was 60. So we're gonna do the same kind of thing. And then we found the value of the parts required. So for example, we want 20 bucks in a ratio of two to three. So we're gonna share that into two parts and also three parts. So the total number of parts we have is two plus three, there's five. So if we're gonna divide $20 up in a ratio of two to three, we're actually gonna divide that $20 into five. So $4 is one part. This is the unitary method, and this, this will always work. So we want it in two to three. So knowing that four dollars is one part, we can say two parts, multiply that, times two, multiply four by three. So we're gonna divide that into that $20 in a, in a ratio of two to three. One person gets eight bucks, one person gets 12 bucks. Now you can do it, and I kind of skipped over this the last time I did in class. You can do it with a fraction uh, of the amount wanted. So you can do the number in the ratio over the total. You can make it into a fraction. So if I have $20 in a ratio of two to three, my total number, remember, was five. So I can look at it and say two out of the five, I can get two fifths of $20. It's gonna give me the same thing. And three fifths, which is to say three out of the total of five, three-fifths of twenty dollars is twelve dollars. That's another way to do it. Personally, I find the unitary method works. You find what one part is, then you multiply it back up. But this is there's nothing wrong with this because if you're taking two-fifths of twenty dollars, you are just multiplying, that's a multiply sign, three-fifths or two-fifths times that total, and that will give you that. So let's, let's put this into action. So rice and water are to be combined in a ratio of two to three. We always do it in the order they're written. The first word is rice, the second word is water. So for every two parts rice, we need three parts water. And if you're cooking rice, I would really look at the recipe because I don't think that's right. I think you'll get mushy rice. But that's what we're doing for this uh, experiment here. So for A, we want to find the amount of water when we have 10 cups of rice. So our ratio is rice to water two parts rice for every three parts water. Now we don't know the amount of water, so we want to find the equivalent fraction for when we have 10 cups of rice. Equivalent ratio, I shouldn't have said fraction, equivalent ratio. So I multiply two times five to get 10, so I do that, that's where it's like a fraction. That's how I get that 15. Therefore we need 15 cups, because remember a ratio is the same unit. It's gonna be cups, it's gonna be miles, it's gonna be whatever it is. 15 cups of, what were we asking for? Water. And for B, it's gonna be similar, but this time we want the amount of rice. So again, I'm gonna write my ratio of two 
cups of rice, or two parts rice for every three parts water. It could be buckets, as long as the bucket is the same size. Could it be barrels? If you were cooking for a very large group, that would be a very large group. But it's going to be the same unit, whatever it is. So this one, we want the amount of rice, so we don't know that. But we do know that we have 12 cups of water. So just like we did before, we're going to find an equivalent ratio. 3 times 4 gives us 12, so 2 times the same number gives us 8. And that looks right to me. So therefore, 8 cups of rice when we have 12 cups of water. So, dividing a quantity into a particular ratio. So now we're going to divide 54 meters of something that comes in meters. Let's say rope. We're sailors. We've got 54 meters of rope. So we want to divide that into a ratio of 4 to 5. So first of all, if we use the unitary method, we want to first find the total number of parts. Number of parts. How many parts do we have? Four parts plus five parts equals nine parts. And then second, we want to find the value of one part. So we're going to take that 54 meters and divide it by nine. I think that's going to be six. If anybody has a calculator, can you confirm that? 54 divided by 9. Thank you. One part is equal to 6, but we want 4 parts. So 4 parts is 6 times 4, and 5 parts is 6 times 5. So our ratio is going to be 24 to 30. And if we wanted to check, 24 plus 30 does equal 54. If we were going to use the fraction method, I'm not going to go through and work it out, but we would work out 4 ninths of 54, and of becomes times, and then 5 ninths of that same amount. And we will come out with our calculator. If we did 5 ABC 9 times 54, we should come out with 30. There's two different ways to do it. And now, if we want to divide a quantity in a ratio with three terms, it's not really that different. So I have $300 in a ratio of 2 to 1 to 3. I'm going to use my unitary method and find the total number of parts, which is 2 plus 1 plus 3 should give me 6 parts. And then number two, I'm going to find the value of one part, which is going to be 300 divided by 6, which is 50 bucks. And then three, I'm going to do 2 times 50, which is 100, and 1 times 50, because that's one part, and then three times 50, which is 150. Now she blows.